You ever seen an Apache helicopter up close? It's intimidating, man. The sheer size and presence of this beast can send shivers down your spine. It's not just a machine, it's a marvel of modern engineering. It's like a mechanical dragon designed to dominate the battlefield. With its rotors slicing through the air and its powerful engines roaring, it commands respect and fear. This ain't no ordinary chopper. This is a flying tank, bristling with weapons and sensors. From its advanced targeting systems to its array of missiles and rockets, it's built for one purpose, to win. The AH-64 Apache is the U.S. Army's go-to attack helicopter, and for good reason. It's a versatile and reliable platform that has proven itself time and time again in various combat scenarios. It's been kicking ass since the 80s, and it's still one of the most feared weapons platforms in the world. Over the decades, it has undergone numerous upgrades ensuring it remains at the cutting edge of military technology. We're talking about a machine that can take out tanks, armored vehicles and fortified positions with pinpoint accuracy. Bunkers, enemy strongholds, you name it. The Apache can neutralize threats from a distance, keeping our ground forces out of harm's way. It's fast, it's agile, and it can maneuver through challenging terrains and hostile environments with ease. And it packs a serious punch. With its heavy armament, it can deliver devastating blows to the enemy, ensuring our forces maintain the upper hand. The Apache is a testament to American engineering and a symbol of our military might. It's a representation of our commitment to protecting our nation and our allies. But it's more than just a machine, it's a lifesaver. In countless missions, the Apache has provided critical air support, turning the tide of battle in our favor. This thing provides crucial air support for our troops on the ground, offering them a shield from above and a powerful offensive capability, keeping them safe and giving them the edge in a firefight. The Apache is not just a weapon, it's a guardian angel for our soldiers, ensuring they come home safely. The Apache is a two-man operation, a pilot in the back seat and a gunner in the front, both strapped into heavily armored cockpits. These cockpits are designed to withstand the harshest conditions and provide maximum protection. The pilot handles the flying, navigating through treacherous terrains and hostile environments, while the gunner operates the weapon systems with precision and accuracy. Talk about a high-pressure job, right? Every mission requires split-second decisions and flawless execution. These guys are the best of the best, highly trained to handle this beast in the most intense combat situations. Their training is rigorous, involving countless hours of simulations and real-world exercises. This ain't no joyride, folks. Every mission is meticulously planned and executed with precision. The Apache is designed for survivability. Its robust design ensures it can operate in the most challenging environments. It can take a beating and keep on flying, thanks to its rugged construction and redundant systems. It's got armor plating, self-sealing fuel tanks, and advanced avionics that keep it in the air even when under heavy fire, and even a system that blows the crew's seats out in case of a crash landing. This ejection system is a last resort, but it ensures the crew has a fighting chance to survive even the worst scenarios. These engineers thought of everything to give our pilots and gunners the best chance of coming home safe. From the design phase to regular maintenance checks, every detail is scrutinized to ensure the highest level of safety and performance. To understand the Apache, you gotta go back to Vietnam. The Huey helicopter, bless its soul, did a hell of a job, but it was vulnerable to ground fire. The Army needed something tougher, something designed specifically for attack missions. That's where the Apache story begins. In the early 70s, the Army launched the Advanced Attack Helicopter Program to find a replacement for the aging Cobra Attack Helicopter. The competition was fierce, but in the end, Hughes Helicopters, later bought by McDonnell Douglas which then merged with Boeing, emerged victorious with their Yaw 64 design. This wasn't just about building a helicopter, it was about creating a whole new way of fighting wars. The first AH-64. A Apache rolled off the assembly line in 1983, and it was clear this was a different breed of machine. It was bigger, faster and more heavily armed than any attack helicopter before it. The Apache was designed to fight day or night in all weather conditions, it was a game changer. The Apache went through rigorous testing pushing the limits of both man and machine. Test pilots put the Apache through its paces, simulating combat scenarios and ironing out any kinks. This wasn't just about making sure the helicopter could fly, it was about making sure it could survive on the battlefield and get the job done. 
Section 5, Heart of the Apache Engine and Rotor System. This is where the magic happens, where raw power meets precision engineering. The heart of this beast is a pair of powerful turbo shaft engines. These engines are not just any engines. They are meticulously designed to withstand the harshest conditions and deliver peak performance. These babies provide the horsepower needed to lift the Apache's heavy load of weapons and armor. Imagine the sheer force required to get this heavily armed bird off the ground and into the sky. We're talking about over 1,800 horsepower each, enough to make this bird climb like a homesick angel. This immense power allows the Apache to ascend rapidly, giving it a significant tactical advantage. Then there's the rotor system, a marvel of engineering. The rotor system is the unsung hero, converting engine power into lift and maneuverability. The four-bladed main rotor and tail rotor work in perfect harmony to give the Apache its incredible agility. This synchronization is what allows the Apache to perform complex maneuvers with ease. It can hover, dart, and change direction with lightning speed, making it a nightmare for enemy troops on the ground. The ability to hover in place and then suddenly dart away is crucial for both attack and evasion. And let's not forget about that distinctive sound, a menacing wop 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 that strikes fear into the hearts of our enemies. This sound is not just a byproduct, it's a psychological weapon, announcing the Apache's presence long before it comes into view. Section 6, Flying Arsenal, Weapons and Firepower. Now let's talk about the fun part, the weapons. The Apache is a flying arsenal, capable of delivering a devastating punch. Its primary weapon is the 30mm chain gun mounted under the nose, capable of spitting out explosive rounds at a rate of 625 rounds per minute. That's right, 625. Imagine the fireworks, but that's not all. The Apache can also carry a variety of air-to-ground missiles, rockets, and even air-to-air -air missiles for self-defense. We're talking Hellfire missiles, Stinger missiles, you name it. This thing can take out anything from enemy tanks to fortified positions. It's like a flying Swiss army knife of destruction. Section 7 Eyes in the Sky Sensors and Avionics but the Apache is more than just brute force. It's got brains to match its brawn. The Apache is packed with advanced sensors and avionics that give it unparalleled situational awareness. It's like having X-ray vision and night vision all rolled into one. It's got a radar system that can detect and track multiple targets even in bad weather. It's got thermal imaging systems that can see in the dark and through smoke. And it's got a helmet-mounted display that lets the gunner aim the weapons simply by looking at the target. Talk about target practice. Section 8. Baptism by Fire the Apache in Action. The Apache proved its worth in combat during Operation Just Cause in Panama in 1989. It was a decisive victory for the U.S. military, and the Apache played a crucial role, taking out key enemy targets and providing air support for ground troops. Then came the Gulf War in 1991. This is where the Apache really shined. On the first night of the air campaign, Apaches were used to take out Iraqi early warning radar sites, blinding the enemy and paving the way for the massive air assault that followed. The Apache quickly gained a fearsome reputation among Iraqi troops, who nicknamed it the Silent Hunter. Section 9, Desert Storm's Silent Hunter. In Desert Storm, the Apache became a symbol of American military might. It proved its effectiveness against Iraqi tanks and armored vehicles, decimating Saddam Hussein's forces with surgical precision. The Apache was instrumental in the liberation of Kuwait, proving its worth as a game-changer in modern warfare. But it wasn't just about technology, it was about the skill and courage of the pilots and gunners who flew these missions. These were the true heroes, putting their lives on the line every time they took to the skies. They flew long hours, often under intense enemy fire and their bravery and sacrifice helped secure a swift victory for the coalition forces. Section 10. Evolving with the Times Upgrades and Modernization Over the years the Apache has been constantly upgraded and modernized to stay ahead of the curve. It's gone through several iterations, each one more capable than the last. We're talking about new engines, improved sensors and even more advanced weapons systems. The latest version, the AH-64E Guardian, is the most advanced Apache yet. It's faster, more lethal and more survivable than ever before. It's got a new radar system that can track over 1,000 potential targets simultaneously, and it can control unmanned aerial vehicles, or drones for reconnaissance and attack missions. 
talk about a force multiplier. Section 11, the legend continues. The Apache has seen action in conflicts all over the world, from the Balkans to Afghanistan to the fight against ISIS. It's a testament to American ingenuity and a symbol of our commitment to global security. This is a helicopter that's earned its place in the history books. The Apache isn't just a helicopter, it's a legend. It represents the best of what we can achieve when we combine cutting-edge technology with the courage and skill of our soldiers. And as long as there are threats to our nation and our allies, you can bet the Apache will be there, ready to answer the call.